I think your ring must be mostly gray and mostly black with a rubber band like Dan's. No, no, it's the Listen, this is really, David, this really is simple. You had Ward and Jim trump this thing up post like it was the Kennedy test. Then you have the Ann Arbor police get to do their deal. And it was going to go to the Washington, what, AG? Who's a Michigan fan? Whose social media is plastered? He's a ticket holder, I think. Like, you knew where this was going to go. So, from the very beginning, I'm like, just do what you're going to do with the kid who swung the helmet. Everybody else should move on. And even now, the mere suggestion that Michigan's pregame, in-game, <coughs> and post-game action <coughs> escalate things. Oh my God, you can't say that. No one's absolving state. No one's saying Michigan's more to blame. But you guys continue to have problems. You continue to have problems. It, it's like what we did with Juwan last Friday. You continue to have problems with your basketball program with altercations. If you go out to a bar every weekend and you and your friends find yourself in a fight, I have bad news for you. It's not the bar. It's not the bouncers. It's you and your friends. So... The fact you can't handle just saying, hey, you're a part of it, I don't know what to tell you. That's on you, man. It's not on me. David, go ahead. The entire incident is chicken bleed. You suspend the kid that swung his helmet for the season. The others sit out for half the next game. He did the battle. It's all it is. And I'm a Michigan fan. Don't ruin the kid for one incident. No. Uh, and again, I, I would have been fine having every player involved suspended for a full game. Maybe two. I'd have no issue with it. None. But see, th th again, it doesn't fit the narrative. I'm not absolving you. I think the fact that this is dragged on, it's, it's, it's atrocious. It's ridiculous. Because I'm only worried about OSU and JJ not being able to hit his deep receiver. I know, man. <laughs> We're going to talk about it. And obviously, the game's not till Saturday. Lions play beforehand. Uh, look, the biggest concern should be Blake Corum. Not, not availability. He's, he's tough as nails. But if he's limited... And this Donovan Edwards mystery thing of if he doesn't play, that's a huge problem. A huge problem. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah, someone says, Mike, you are complaining for no reason. This is how the criminal system works. Charges are filed. Charges are dropped. Everyone moves on. Yeah, great. You have no idea what you're talking about. Thank you. We're talking about a football tunnel incident that was made into the Archduke for one being assassinated. And it has reached a ridiculous level. There shouldn't be charges beyond the player who swung the helmet. But thank you for your participation. The AG is a bum for taking the case. This clear conflict of interest, this was blown way out of proportion. Okay. Because I actually hate the seven players have misdemeanor charges, but your onslaught of straw man makes me makes me be on the other side okay, of this so argument. What's, so John, what's, narrowly. John, what's the straw man? Tell me, what's the argument? I said, take the guy who swung the helmet, throw him out of school. He should never play for us again. You can suspend the players for even being around it for a game or two. And we're done here. What's a straw man about me thinking this thing playing out in the legal system is a joke? What's a straw man about that? What's a straw man of acknowledging, why the hell are your players going at the top? Skipping around like the sound of music. Why? Tell me. What's a straw man about You're welcome to dial it. I don't know. David, go ahead. This is all a farce. Michigan has opened Pandora's box and this is a terrible precedent to set for the entire sport and the world. Hi, Evan. What's going on, buddy? What's going on? You got something you want to have? I'm just curious, and one caller was going to say it, he made a good point. Just, how is this different than somebody like... It's just new asphalt. During the game. Like, are That's we just new asphalt where, that they're like, putting if in. Somebody swings during the game. Are they going to call the police? No, it's, it is different in this regard. It's post. But I'm just a believer. You can 
handle it within the programs, suspend your guys, move forward. That's not how this should run. And when people ask what could the university have done, I mean, it is their responsibility in those confines, in that building, to protect the players, right? It's the same as if a crazy fan ran onto the field and tried to attack. You have to protect those kids. Or touch the opposing head coach. Yeah, I, Evan, I'm with you. But like, that's the whole point. Like, it, it's... The idea that it arrived here doesn't surprise me because we all knew it's where it was going. It was the behavior in, in the moments following. But this has all been teed up. So good. I don't know. They wanted these eight players. Fine. They'll never play for State again. It doesn't. It's whatever to me. No, and they, and they made an awful, awful mistake out of being hot-headed in the moment, right? I mean, if they had a chance to sit back and think about it, they probably wouldn't have done it. But the kid that swung the helmet, it's inexcusable. But... Yet again, let's not act like these are all level-headed people no. during that instant. No, everybody. And there's not one kid who should face charges. Swinging a helmet, you, 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 no, right up. no place. For you. The rest, I just think it's over. It's like, just an awful situation. That that game happened the day before or two days before Halloween, and now a day before the next holiday, we're yeah. still talking about no, it. That's that's again, Mike in Norrisville. Mike, what's going on, bud? Hey, <laughs> it's white cold. You know, uh, I said before, it's, it's, the, one of the worst parts about this show, unfortunately, is that people call in who you know have never played a team sport before in their life. Because when you look at that incident, I'm not, you know, saying that Michigan State was in the right box. But if you look at that incident after getting beat and somebody taught you or whatever, for you to believe that that couldn't possibly happen and that police, you know, police should be involved and charges should be filed, it's ridiculous. I mean, you're just talking about teenage kids, for one. You know, we're not talking about, you know, 33-year-old pro bowlers and this and that and the other. You're, you're, you're talking about kids that may have played against each other in high school or whatever, and now, you know, since they've won a game, you know, you know, now they, they, they jabbing at them. That kind of stuff is going to happen. And for you to sit here and try to give a, a, a teenager a criminal record because of something like that is ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, Mike, the only disagreement I'd have is when, when you're swinging an object that can kill somebody, the one player, yeah, yeah, yeah. that, that, that has Honey, to be taken yes. seriously. That, yeah. that, that is where I, I said, okay, you need to get on that. Is but the rest, I, 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 I don't get it. 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 I don
All right, I've seen some bad stuff at Spartan Stadium, some bad stuff down in Ann Arbor. Slight possibility that I'm going to shake and wake people. up. People, you know, people, people don't know how to treat you. I've never attended a football game. And I cry for my mama. To, to anyone wearing opposing uh, uniform colors. I just, I, I don't care. For sure. I don't care if you're having a good day. I don't care. What, I don't want to talk to you. I'm there with people I like. All rooting for the same thing. But if you go to a run, look, let me just tell you. Hello. Yo, Mike. What's up? What are you doing? Heading to the yard. Um... What are you about to do after that? Head to start heading home. Okay, um, never mind then. I was gonna say, there's not a lot of shit to do, so I'm making a list of all the audits that were done yesterday, and I'm gonna go through and take pictures of them and say it's for Thanksgiving to make sure that everything's secure for the holidays, just so there's something to waste some time. Yep, that's fine. Yeah. Um, what'd you say? I said, yeah, that sounds like a good good plan yeah so there will be a list on circuit if you want to uh take a couple of those jobs or if you're gonna just head straight home after yeah i'm just heading home i've had enough for today <laughs> yeah all right enjoy your uh holiday man yep me too peace yep Right. Because you had enough for today. You can lock in your deal right now. And if at the time of delivery, the deal gets better, you get the better deal. Returning Easy Plan lessees can order a 2023 F-150 and lease it for $319 a month for 24 months with $4,629 to its signing. Order today and take delivery from an authorized Ford dealer stock within 30 days of ordered vehicle's arrival. Lease payment includes wave security deposit, excludes title, taxes, and license fees. Not all lessees will qualify for Ford Credit Red Carpet Low Mileage Lease. Payment includes $1,750 renewal at $1,000 retail order bonus cash. Offer ends November 30th. See oh, plus we got that last job at Warner. I completely forgot. Attention. Did you or a loved one live at or near Marine Base Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, between 1953 and If so, Listen closely for this important yep. legal announcement from 1953 to 1987. Marines of the Because there is a slight possibility that I'm going to shake three times. The toxins found in water may cause health issues, especially later in life. Types of health issues associated with water at Camp Lejeune are numerous. If you or a loved one live near Camp Lejeune between 1983 and 1987, I'll probably wake up and shake yeah. three times, twice. Because I know I'm going to cry for my mama. Allow you to file a claim today. If you or a loved one spent time near Camp Lejeune, call the Negligence Network to find out if you're eligible for financial compensation. There's no fee you must read with your case. Call 1-800-700-4333. That's 1-800-700-4333. 1-800-700-4333. Transport the entire family into the magical world of trans Orchestra live in concert. Two shows December 29th, Little Caesars Arena. Millions of fans have been deserved. Must see the holiday event of the season. Tickets on sale now at LiveNation.com. Don't miss Trans Siberian Orchestra's The Christmas of Christmas Eve, the best of TSO, and more. Thanksgiving's a great time of year, and so are the values during our Black Friday sales event at Golly Crescent Dodge Sheep Ram. Hi friends, Bill Golly can tell you about some of the great lease programs going on all month long. For example, qualified Chrysler employees can lease a 2022 Jeep Compass Latitude Lux for just $2.99 a month. Leases for 39 months, 10,000 miles a year for $2,000. For the finest in sales, service, and selection, come experience the Golly difference. You'll be glad you did. That's Golly Crescent Dodge Sheep Ram in Louisville Hills, Chelsea, Roseville, and online at Golly.com. Prescription products require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for full details and important safety information. Subscription required. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 90% cheaper? 
and you can get it online just go to forhims.com slash joy and hims you'll get a free medical consultation discreet shipping if prescribed a 100 percent online process and trusted generic alternatives to the biggest brands at 90 percent off that's right get generic for viagra the same active ingredient as brand name viagra but 90 percent cheaper it's the same medication you get from your doctor but with zero copay no expensive appointments and no awkward face-to-face -face conversations to start your free online visit you need to go to this exclusive address forhims.com slash joy that's forhims.com slash joy for your free online visit f-o-r-h-i-m-s.com slash j-o-y let savvy sliders cater your next event with savvy holiday party packs enjoy your choice of 24 gourmet sliders or 36 hand breaded chicken fingers for only 59.99 click on savvy sliders.com to find the location nearest you be savvy serve savvy holiday party packs the latest on the NBA, the NHL, the NFL, and the MLB on the Boston Balls Podcast with Pat Caputo. Get it on the Odyssey app or wherever you get your podcasts. from Zach Wilson. It says, he said, why now? Why me? I want to play. <laughs> so he sounds uh, upset about it. Uh, doesn't say it's over for Salah. Salah didn't say it's over for him, but he's benching him now. Look, he stinks. <clears throat> That's all there is to it. I've said this to you from day one. I didn't understand why he was taking number two. He plays a brand of football that's just not going to work in the pros unless you're Patrick Mahomes. And when you look at him, David, he's about a 55% passer, turnover machine. And that performance Sunday were two total yards in the second half of the football game. And then they ask you, do you feel like you let the defense down and you say no? I, it was destined to go here. Now, I'm not telling you Mike White's going to be some revelation, but people in New York wanted Mike White. He had flashes last year. I, I've said it from Jump Street. I think they're moving away from Zach Wilson again this year. I, what are you going to do? You can't dump a season that you can make the playoffs in just because you drafted that kid number two. And if Mike White wins a couple of games and they make the playoffs, how do you go back to him next year? And, and I did see an NFL reporter, and it was a fan that sent a question on Twitter to him, and the reporter basically said he's thinking about the other guys in the locker room. He can't think about this Wilson being upset that you're going to bench him. By the way, Mike White, this will be his fourth start. He's 1-2 as a starter. 67% uh, completion percentage, five touchdowns, eight interceptions. So it's nothing great, but what well, also, also, Zach Wilson, a career 6.2 yards per attempt. Woof. Awful. Your thoughts on, you, do you have any thoughts on the other quarterback situation? I think the Panthers are just, they're just trying to find. I just hope both teams yeah. have fun. <laughs> I don't care, next. Well, speaking of fun, something we will not be able to have until the summer of 2024, and I blame you, Mike. I know. The return of EA Sports College Football has been delayed until the summer of 2024. The uh, EA Sports Vice President and General Manager said that because we're uh, bringing it from scratch, they wanted to make sure everything is right. It's disappointing. Uh, it's, it's uh, listen, it's just a sad day. I mean, flags are at half-mast. Uh, I just... 
You know, I'll never figure it out. I really don't. I mean, you come out with one game a year. Right. You've had 10 to figure it out. I mean, who are we kidding? Oh, they said they want to make everything right. They're, they're having a, a Brutus the Buckeye. They want to make everything detailed. I don't know. I, I, it is a sad day. It's all I'll tell you. Just come up with the game. It is a sad day. Let's talk about this for a second. It's a quick college uh, mention here. The rumors of Lane Kiffin going to Auburn. Uh, he's been on social media saying that I'm not going. He's met with the team. Him and the AD met with the team uh, last night and saying he's not going. Um, what happens there in Auburn? Do you actually think he leaves? And if he doesn't, who do they bring in? Uh, you know, David, I don't understand why he would go. Obviously, money's money. But he's getting, you know, he's, fi he's finally found a home in Old Point. A place that fits. It's a little bit off the radar. You fly to Memphis, you drive an hour and a half south to Oxford. I don't get why you'd go because it's right back to a place like Tennessee and USC where Lane imploded. I, I don't know what to make of it. Now, he's gone out and denied it, but that doesn't mean anything in today's world. The Egg Bowl is Thanksgiving night. I will be fascinated to see it and the 12 hours past it because, David, you're going to know real quick. Very quick. Very. Woo! Let's move over to that positive QB story. The 49ers destroy the Cardinals 38 to 10 on Monday. And then a quote here from Kyle Shanahan. He says, Jimmy's doing a great job. Jimmy has always done a great job when Jimmy's been healthy out there. We've had our guys around him. He plays at a high level. And I think he did that today as good as, as, good as he has. We're very fortunate to have him. They know. Now, is this not basically saying I love my quarterback, but saying I'm glad we stuck with him because... No, I, I, I think they know they're lucky that they didn't trade him. They're lucky that he was there. He's the only thing saving their season. Otherwise, if Trey Lance went down and you're starting, you know, Pete Beathard, you're dead. I still believe as long as they go on to have the season we all think they can have, Trey Lance is done there, right? I think he's done there. I think he has no future there. Um, speaking of future, I want to uh, have this conversation with you real quick. A couple things that I think will come from that FFPA one case that they've already filed and one that they may file in the future. The future one is the field condition. They continue, and Dave Burkett wrote another article on it when it comes to uh, Tracy Walker's injury and, and, the, and the playing surface that they use yeah, versus artificial versus grass. Do you think that the NFLPA will not say force the hand of the owner? but try to put more pressure on the owners to switch fields to grass. Yeah, but the problem's going to be, what is the functionality of grass in a lot of these stadiums? Now, I know in Arizona, what do they do? They grow it outside and Correct. grow it in or whatever it is? Correct. David, I'm fine with it. Um, I just, some of these stadiums, you would have to explain to me how grass could exist. Yeah, I don't see how Ford Field, how they can get grass. Well, we there. could do what I've asked them to do for 20 years. Rip the roof off, piece by piece. We should be playing outdoor football in the city of Detroit, period. It should not be an indoor venue. I don't understand how the Lions ever ended up playing indoors. Like, why, why? Silverdome, why? Ford Field, why? Look, yeah. at it, look at it outside. We should be playing football right yeah. now. I have a theory. They don't really, whatever. Keep it moving. Let me, give, let me give you this. The actual case that they filed against the owners, they filed a collusion claim against the NFL regarding guaranteed player contracts, believing that in August at the owners' meeting that they, the owners agreed they are never to give guaranteed contracts after Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson. My question to you is, will fully guaranteed contracts become a thing in the no. NFL? No, it's why Lamar doesn't have a deal right now. And Steve Bashotti may have opened Pandora's box by saying we weren't pleased with what the Browns did. I think that's why they're claiming yeah. collusion. So, no, I, I don't think it'll be a thing. And I, Who's I, truck I is this? Is this Andrew? Aaron Judge in baseball. Why the hell would I guarantee you 10 years and $400 million to the age of 41? The answer is I'm not. I hope he goes to the Giants. I hope he doesn't play for the Yankees again. There shouldn't be guaranteed deals. Now, if you want to do half the deals guaranteed, you want to have option clauses, I'm fine with all of them. But in a game...